Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And in today's episode, I want to try and build a pod racer. This is going to be quite interesting to see if I can pull it off. But I think everything is here that we would need to be able to do it. So let's grab a few materials. Um, and I think we'll go maybe with a structure support for the... Actually, no. Let's, let's just go metal. This is metal right here, right? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing that I kind of want to lay out is the area for the cabin like the little part where you would sit and I'll put that right here and then I think that part is good okay so then we'll lift that up a bit and let's see I'm gonna need lights sensors here we go I'm gonna need some of those and I need some rocket engines and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a sensor um how do I want to do this just one I'm thinking just one oh that looks that looks really kind of bad um can I no I cannot okay well tell you what we will do this then we'll take these two and bring it up and then we'll go this way like that and put a rocket right there. And the goal of this is to keep this thing elevated off the ground a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'll put I'm going to put a sensor on either side uh and we will connect those sensors to this, which should cause that to fire, right? Yeah, cool. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now we need to make the two front pods, and we'll go out about that far, I think. That should do it. And we'll make two little arms like so. And then right here... We're going to make a little platform like that, and like that. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks about right to me. Okay, now, once again, I need... there. Are, there well, actually, there's a couple things I need here. I need the ability to steer, so I think we'll go... How do I want to do that? I think we'll put them like this. And then we'll attach to that a little block like this. So we can put our engines here and here. And then we need to connect uh, that to the chair and that one to the chair. Like so. And then we also need to connect all of these engines to the chair as well. So, in theory, that should kind of work right now. And... Uh, I don't know that they're turning. Let's see... No, those should... Those should... Turn. Um, why are they not turning? Are they caught on something? They shouldn't be. Hmm. Okay, I'll check on that in a sec. For now, let's bring this back down a little bit because we also need a way to keep these parts up off the ground as well. So let's go here. Uh, actually, let's go up two like that. And same right there. Oh, that's not symmetrical. Just kidding. We want that here, right? Yeah, there we go. And then we'll bring this 
over two like that and do the same right there. That should work. And then if we put our rocket here and here, and then we once again put a sensor, there we go, here and there, and then connect those like so. In theory, oh, actually, that's not a good spot for that sensor because that's going to interfere with this. Uh, let's put the sensor right here instead. Why are you... Hmm, this doesn't seem to be symmetrical. Something's... What did I mess up? Uh-huh. Okay, I think that's good now. And now we can connect those and that like so. If we lift this up and stand under the sensors, it should fire those engines. Okay. And then I think we need some sort of generator so we can turn those... Um, uh, the bearings. That's what I was thinking of. So let's just grab an electric engine. I th think that will work. Whoa. Oh, here we go. And we'll just throw that like right there. That should work. And then we'll connect whoa, this engine to that or this this engine to the chair like so if we boot this up and get in we still have no turn hmm is that because of this who okay well we're definitely not going to have enough lift here so we're going to have to we're going to have to do something about that. Uh, oh, that was also not what I wanted to do. Put that back. Let's put this thing on the lift, like, right here. So we're going to need either a lot more rocket power, which actually could be a viable option if we just brought that out there and out here. And then put those on. And let's see. Tie those to these sensors. Oh, they can only be. Oh, I dislike. Hmm. Tell you what, let's actually do away with that connection there and put another sensor. Like here, I guess. And connect. Um, that one. Why, why is this? Oh, oh, oh no. I'm breaking things. Okay, you know what? Let's just re <laughs> let's just remake the connections. It's fine. There we go. Okay, now, if I do away with this. Okay, that part has enough to... That part has enough to stay elevated, so that's good. Then we need to do something similar here as well. So I'm thinking we'll go like th this. Will that work? That should work. And we'll put another engine there. And another engine here. And then we'll see... Actually, you know what? We're going to give those their own sensor as well. Where did we put the sensor right here? On the outside? Okay. So we'll put one... Right there. 
and there. And we'll tie those engines to the sensors like so. Okay. So now, if I get rid of this... Um... It's a little bit... Oh, I see. Part of the problem. Hey! No! Stop it! Okay. Stop moving. <laughs> oh, man. This sensor needs to be tied to that engine. And then I think we're good. Although, maybe we'll just do away with this engine and see if that works. Let's lower it down to about here. And remove... Okay. So, that was too much. It was uneven. So, I think we will go ahead and put that one back. Do that. And you go there. And now if I lower this... That's... Pretty much where it needs to be. Oh, and the engines do turn. Kind of. It sort of works. Well, actually, there's turning the right way. Yeah. Actually, this kind of... This kind of works. The only problem is that the engines... Okay. So, actually, we can work with this. We can work with this. Let's put this back on the lift. And put it, like, right there. Okay. So, the problem we're running into is that these engines can't turn out far enough. So, I think we can fix that relatively easily... Let's make sure that they're not obstructed if we just bring this out. Uh, how many blocks are in between here? Two? If we just bring this out by like one block, like that, and then put those engines on, like so. Redo these connections. There we go. And then, oh, I gotta take that off. And this should be going forward at the moment. Now I want to go... Okay, so it's in reverse. Okay, that's easy to fix too. Put it... Oh, hey, come back. You, down. There we go. Okay, and we just switch these directions like that. And now, this should be going left. That should be going right. And that actually works pretty well. It's kind of a pod racer sort of thing. It sort of works. Um, I think it needs a bit more weight in the back. But we can do that pretty easily. Grab you and put you down like so. So we'll just take some metal, because it's heavy. And we'll just put some metal down like that. And... Oh! There we go. And then maybe like this as well. And then I think it also needs some more weight in the front too. So let's maybe put... A big metal plate, like that, and here, and there, and there, and there. There we go. That should add some weight to it. And now it should be, well, <laughs> it's smoother, but, uh... It's not quite doing the trick, is it? I think we need to either... I think we actually need to... Ooh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! All right, let me get that fixed, guys. I'll come right back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I have it all put back together now. I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that seems pretty good. Uh, I do still need... 
to take some weight off the back, it looks like. So let's get rid of one of those. And that hovers right up. Mm, nope. Still need more weight off the back. So let's get rid of those. In fact, let's just do away with that whole thing. And let's put maybe, what's the weight on that? That's heavy, lightweight. Out of curiosity. How would that look if we just put that right there? Let's test that out. Okay. Oh. It's not terrible. I mean, it's got some... Definitely has some work to do. Um... Hmm. Let's try... Here, we, let's get this up on a flatter ground. There we go. I think... I think we're going to do away with this grate, and we'll just do, like, one little metal thing here, and then maybe we'll put, um, another rocket here, and there, and then maybe, let's do this. That's actually, I, I like, I like this idea. We're going to move those sensors. So we'll do that. We'll put the sensors for those engines here instead. Like so. Then we'll put a rocket there. And a rocket there. And we'll tie all of those to the seat. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And there we go. Okay. Let's try that out. Oh. Well. It almost worked. It just didn't like that hill. Um... Let's try this instead. Oh, oh, stay up. No, no. Uh. All right. Let me try a few more things, guys. I'll come back to you in a minute. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I've got it. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's working relatively well. Um, pretty much all I did was take the engine from the bottom and push it out towards the side. So, like, if I want to turn, I can control these two engines going back and forth. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a reverse but all in all, I mean, I think the concept is there. And that's really what I kind of wanted to show you in this one. So guys, I think that is going to do it for me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.